Shalom to the elect of Israel. Shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. You Hebrew Israelites. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indian, and Haitians. Gotta give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akah, Kodash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who teach well, and the sense of salutation to all the Akim pushing this truth to the foreigners of the earth, working up the hopeful elect. Shalom to the Akwa for our listening and learning. I'm Isaiah, coming at you with another lesson in true facts, faith, and edification. Now, this is a lesson just going into the name of the Lord, just going in. Just going into how important the name of the Lord is. Because our people have been destroyed physically, mentally, and spiritually on every side. In the title of this lesson, all you Jesus freaks will die grievous deaths. All you who are looking for Jesus Christ to return, he's not returning. All you devil, two-third Israelites, and you demon, because this is for Israel. So all you two-third Israelites who's looking for Serapis Christus to return, Jesus Christos, Jesus Christ, he's not returning, man. For all you Jesus freaks. Okay, Yahweh is returning, not, not Jesus Christos. So... Just a few precepts about how important it is with the name of the Lord and his son. So Lord's witness be edified. First verse I'm going to get is Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. And it reads, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Yahweh Shah did that. Who have gathered the winds in his fists? Who have bound the waters in their garment? Who have established all the ends of the earth? Yahweh Shah did that. What is his name? Speaking about the Most High Yahweh. And what is his son's name? If dies can tell. So this is the most high asking you what is his name and what is his son's name if dies can tell. Meaning it's a mystery, right? Meaning it's a mystery. So when you go to St. John 17 and 6, this is what it reads. This is the words of Yahweh Shah. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. They were thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So Proverbs 30 and 4 say, What is my name and what is my son's name, if thou can tell? So John 17 and 6 say, I have manifest thy name unto thy until the men which died gave us me. So, meaning, this is showing you everybody would not know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? The name was manifest to a certain group of men. Okay? Which, is, which will be the 144,000. The elect. Now, when you read Zephaniah 3 and 9. This is what it reads. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. So, when you go and look up the name of the Lord, which the Lord is his name, okay, Lord in all caps, which is Yahweh. So dealing with um, Exodus chapter 3, right? When you read starting at 13 and 14, 
He say, I am that I am. When you read Exodus 3 and 15, it say, moreover, tell them that the Lord have sent you, okay? The Lord have sent you. This is my name forever. It didn't say, I am is my name forever. It said, the Lord is my name forever. So when you go to When you go to um Exodus When you go to Exodus 15 and 3 This is Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is my name. It's a locket. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is my name. So it said the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. It don't say I am is his name. It say the Lord is his name. Now when you go to the word. This is showing you the blue letter going off. But showing you how close it is. Then you bugged out career what can check it Christians. You see right here, for Lord, it say Yehovah, which is Yahweh. Okay? So they showing you right here. They can't give they they're not gonna give the name because then they'll be going off. Far as concerned as with their doctrine. Because when you read in Malachi, it tell you that. The Lord's name is dreadful among the heathen. So they are not going to pronounce his name. Now, for more reasons. Now, this is my 1465 Bible. And when you read. I'm going to read this. It reads. It say. The most ancient copies of the Hebrew text were written in consonants only. As the language became less and less used, scholars called Jewish Masoretes added little dots and dashes called vowel points to indicate how the text was supposed to indicate how the text was to be pronounced. It reads, oddly enough, they put the vowels that go with the word Adana, together with a sacred four-letter name called Tetragrammaton, to guide the reader to say Adana aloud in a synagogue service. So these Jews, Jewish Masoretes, they added dots and dashes and called it vowel points. So they created vowels to indicate how, how the word, how the most high name was to be pronounced in the synagogues. So they added the E's and the J's. Okay. Now, when you go to. Let me pull this up. When you go to Exodus. Six and three. This is what it reads in the new translation. And I appeared unto Abraham and Isaac. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. Now, when you look up this word, there's no J's in the Hebrew, okay? There's no J's in the Hebrew. So, I'm going to prove to you in my 14. Now, look here. You see it say Jehovah? Right here, got Jehovah. H thirty sixty eight, cause there's no J's in the Hebrew, man. Now you see when you click on that word Jehovah, you see what they give you. Jehovah, okay, cause ain't no J's in Hebrew. It's Yahweh, and they know that. That's why they showing you this, man. Now in most of the Bibles, it say Jehovah, right? In Exodus six and three, but in my Bible. The 1465 Bible. This is what it says. This is Exodus 6 and 3. And it reads. And power spoke to Moses and said to him. I am the Lord. 
Now they have right here in the Hebrew, Yahweh, it said traditionally, traditionally, Jehovah. It said, I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty, but by my name, Lord, was I not known to them. Let me see if I can put this up. I don't know if it'll be the show. Let me see. If you can see right there, it say, I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, Lord, I was not known to them. You see, it say YHWH. Now up there, Lord, it's a Hebrew, YHWH, traditionally Jehovah. Okay? Showing you. There's no J's in Hebrew. You see that? Hebrew, YHWA, traditionally Jehovah. But by my name, Lord, I was not known to them. So this is a 1465 Bible. Showing you <clears throat> all the new translations, they put Jehovah. Okay? So, <clears throat> this is showing you that they going off, man. So, I'm going to read a couple of these precepts. <clears throat> read a couple of these precepts. So, I'm going to go to. So, showing you when it said in Proverbs 30 and 6. What is my name and what is my son's name if thou can tell? Meaning, this got to be figured out. This ain't just no, anybody can call it. And when you read John 17 and 6, Yahweh shall say, I have manifest thy name to the men that thou have given me. So it's a mystery, man. Everybody going to get this. Now, this is another clue. This is Romans chapter 10, starting at 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh shall, shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Everybody believe in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, Christ, Christus. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Everybody have heard of Jesus Christ, man. Okay, everybody heard of uh, uh, E.A. Seuss. Jesus Christos. Everybody heard of names, man. Everybody have heard of those names. But Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah have not been manifest that long, man. Okay? Around the late 60s, beginning in the 70s, man. How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? A real preacher, a real seer, a real prophet. Okay? Starting with Abba Bivens, down to our elders right now. Starting with Apostle Tahar. On down, man. Okay? With the men of Great Millstone. So, this, this, this the name of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah is only manifest to a few. Okay? Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah is only known to the elect, man. Now, this is uh, St. John. Matter of fact, I'm going to read Matthew first. Matthew 27 and 37. And it reads, Matthew 27 and 37. And sitting down, they watched him there and set up over his head his accusation written, this is Yahweh the king of the Jews. Okay? This is what they put on the title of the board that they put over his head when he was crucified. Okay, so when you go to St. John, St. John 19 and 19, this is what it say. They put over the title of his head, king of the Jews. 
This is Yahweh King of the Jews. This is uh, St. John 19 and 19. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was Yahweh of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews for the place where Yahweh was crucified was not to the city. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Okay. Wasn't no English back then, man. When our Lord and Savior, our big brother Yahweh was walking the earth, there wasn't no English, man. It was Hebrew, Greek, and Latin, man. And what did they write the New Testament in? Greek, man. For you stupid ass, bugged out ass, wacky tacky Christians, man, with your plantation Christianity. Jesus Christ is not coming to save you, man. Okay? All you Jesus freaks will die grievous deaths, man, because you don't know the name of the Lord and you are not trying to seek the name of the Lord, man. Okay? That's why Yahweh Shah, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah say, and Hosea 4 and 6, my people shall perish for lack of damn knowledge, man. Because you stupid ass people don't want to seek the Lord's name, man. Because you only going to get salvation on the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Jesus Christ will not save your wicked asses, man. You will be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord. This is, uh, now it say again. Again, and it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. Show me where it's still written in English at. You can't. There's no English. Okay? Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Now our Lord and Savior was a Hebrew, man. Okay? From the tribe of Judah, man. And Paul from the prudence to you stupid, you stupid, wacky, tacky Christians, man. Okay, this is uh, Acts 26 and verse 14. And it reads, And when we were all fallen to the earth, this is Paul, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, while prosecuted thy me, it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Paul said he spoke to him in a Hebrew tongue, man. How you going to get around that? You people don't like going to these scriptures, man, because you don't want to hear the truth. You want to hear smooth things. You really want the Lord to be an Edomite, man. But he, well, he's not an Edomite. He's a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah, man. And he spoke Hebrew. His name is in the Hebrew. This is Acts chapter 4, verse 12. And it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other. Jesus Christ ain't going to save you. Neither is there, Acts 4 and 12, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other under heaven Given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ is not our Lord and Savior name, man. Okay, he even tell you in Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and he, Yah, shall save, save me, Hawashah, his people. Yah, Hawashah, man. He told you the name right there in Matthew 1 and 21, man. But you stupid Christian, you so-called Christian, is not trying to get this understanding, man. Okay? There is no other name given whereby we shall be saved, man, but Yahushua, man. Now, this is Zechariah 14 and 9. And it reads, Zechariah 14 and 9. And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, shall be king over all the earth. And that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. 
ain't no Yahweh or Yahshua or Yeshua or Jehovah. Ain't none of that, man. Okay? It's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man. The scriptures, Paul clearly told you the Lord spoke to him in the Hebrew tongue. Why didn't Paul say he spoke to him in the English tongue? Why didn't Paul say he spoke to him in the Greek tongue? Why didn't Paul say he spoke to him in the Latin tongue? Why did he say he spoke to him in the Hebrew, man? Because our Lord and Savior was Hebrew, man. It is, Hebrew 7.14 says, Elder that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Okay? Judah lineage go all the way back to Shem, man. Okay? Did not Abraham come out from Eber? What was what, what was Abraham's father, man? What was Abraham? A Hebrew, man. Okay? They all spoke Hebrew, man. All you got to do is go to Genesis 10th chapter, man. Let me make sure. It's Genesis, Genesis, Genesis 11th chapter, okay? Genesis 11, 1, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech, man. Which was what? The Hebrew, man. Okay? Hebrew, man. The ancient Paleo-Hebrew, man. Ain't no other language, man. Hebrew is the language of our fathers, man. Okay, of the heavenly father and his son, man. And all our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, spoke Hebrew, man. This is, um, we we'll go to 1 John. Matter of fact, before I do that, let me go to Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel 36 and 20. And it reads, and when they entered unto the heathen, whether they went, they profaned my holy name. When they said to them, these are the people of the Lord Yahweh, and are gone forth out of his land. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathen, whether they went. Therefore said unto, therefore said to the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashan, Yahweh, Shai, Power, I do not this for your sakes, O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathen, whether you went. So, the Lord told Jeremiah in Jeremiah 17 that we would discontinue from our heritage, man. Okay, so the Lord took the name, man, and we've been profaning the Lord's name among the heathens, man, as we at this day, man. This is Romans chapter Chapter 2, verse 24, and it reads, For the name of power is blasphemed among Gentiles. Through you, as it is written. Well, what I just read in Ezekiel 36. Again, Romans 2 and 24. For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles. Through you, as it is written. Because what he said in Ezekiel 36 that we have profaned his name wherever, wherever we went among the heathens, man. Among the Gentiles. Okay? And still doing it at this day, man. Because Jake would not stop calling on Jesus Christos or Yahweh or Jehovah. They would not stop doing it. We had a bug that Jake come to the camp a couple weeks ago. Some of the Lord named Yahweh. Trying to tell him, ain't no damn, ain't no vows in the Hebrew, man. You stupid, wacky niggas, man. And the only way you get salvation is the name of the Lord, man. Okay? Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man? You ain't getting no salvation calling on damn Jesus. I don't give a damn who you is, man. You ain't getting salvation calling on Jesus Christ, man. You ain't getting salvation, man. You will be destroyed because you don't want to change from your wicked ways, man. This is, um... 1 John chapter 3, verse 23. Now, this is what the Lord say, man. This is what the Lord say. 
Which Jake don't want to hear it either, man. Jake is hard headed, man. Since First John chapter three and, and verse twenty three. And it reads, 1 John 3 and 23, and this is his commandment, no S, commandment, okay? And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and love one another as he gave us commandment. Listen, man, there's no other name given, man. Well, we must be saved, man. There's no other name, man. Okay? Now, nah. let's go to Genesis. I mean, let's go to Deuteronomy real quick. So this is Deuteronomy. Read Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy 4, I'm going to start at 27. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord Yahweh shall lead you. Lucky for that, but um, this is Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and you shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. And there you shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. Okay. These gods that our people are worshiping today, man, they is not the gods of our father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Now, when you go to Deuteronomy 28, and verse 64, it reads, And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among the people from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there thou shalt serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. This 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 this, this devil, Caesar Borgia, Serapis Christus, who you fools is worshiping today, is not the Lord and Savior, man. Okay, the scriptures clearly tell you our Lord and Savior was a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, man. He was not a pale face, a leopard face, a leprous face Edomite, man. So the Lord said he was going to scatter us to other nations, but we was going to serve other gods, man. Okay? Neither us nor our father have known even wood and stone, man. Now this is the last verse I'm going to get. This is um, Isaiah 42 and verse 8. And you you, you bugged out people, man. The Lord is going to destroy you people, man. Because you will not let up off this Jesus Christos crap, man. This is uh, Isaiah 42 and 8, and it reads, I am the Lord, Yahweh, that is my name. Okay, it don't say I am. Okay, it don't say Yahweh. It don't say Jehovah. It say I am the Lord. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images, man. 
So you fools who's worshiping uh, some rappers, Christos, man, E.A. Seuss, Jesus Christos, you ain't going to be saved by that name, man. The Lord going to destroy you devils, man. Because you will not change your thoughts, man, okay? Romans 12 says you must be transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. Okay, putting away that that uh, Roman Catholicism or being Baptist or Methodist or Pentecostal or Jehovah Wickedness, whatever it is, man, that's not the way of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. That's all Satanism, man, okay? Satanic worshiping, man. That's what you devils is doing. And you doing it openly, man, willingly. The Lord said he would not give it. I am the Lord. That is my name. Okay. He said, I am the Lord. That is my name. Lord is his name, man. Yahweh. Not Yahweh. Not Yehovah. Not Jehovah, man. Yahweh, man. And he would not give his glory to another. Neither his praise to graven images, man. If you fools don't change the way you think. You will be destroyed, man. All you Jesus freaks will die grievous deaths, man. Okay? Because you will not change your ways. Matter of fact, this is Jeremiah uh, 14. Jeremiah 14 and 11. Then shall thou say to them, because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked out the other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, ye walk every one out of his imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. So, what's the imagination of your evil heart? Calling on Jesus Christ, man, which is not your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is not your God, man. He's not your power, okay? Your power is Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. And you people don't want to change from that, man. And you're going to be destroyed for it. My spirit, it is, there was on me this morning. I got out work at 5 o'clock. And um, I got another lesson I'm doing, but something just hit me about this, man. Because Jake would not stop calling on his name, Jesus Christos, man. Okay? They would not stop calling on Yahweh and Yahshua or Yeshua. Even the blue letter shows you, man. Even the blue letter go in, man. Show you, man. The Lord name right here. Now, they got Jehovah right here. But when you tap on it, the H36, it say Yehovah. Okay? Which is Yahweh. Now, when you go to, show you something else. These devils, man. Now, when you go to um Matthew 1 and 21. Watch, let's go to Matthew 1 and 21. Go to Matthew 1 and 21. This how this this how devilish these devils is, man. Now you go to Matthew 1 and 21. You look at the name Jesus, E. A. Seuss. Right, right here. G2424. Let me show you how deceptive these devils is. Right? Now it say of Hebrew origin. Of Hebrew origin. Let's look at it. Look right here. Yahweh Shai. You see this? You see this right here? Yahweh Shai, man. They mixed the words up. They mixed the lettering up, man. Okay? That's Yahweh Shai, man. That shows you these devils know the truth, man. Okay, they know the truth, but they will not give it to you, man. Why? Because they want to keep you calling on some devils, man. Some demonic demon names, man. Okay? And like it said, Malachi, man, the Lord name is dreadful among the heathen. Okay? Just showing you, these devils know, man. They know. And what they want you to do, what I just read to you in Ezekiel 36 and 20. They want you to keep profaning the Lord's name, man, wherever you at, man, wherever you go. 
But guess what? St. John 17 and 6. Yahweh shall say, He have manifested the Lord's name. He have manifested Yahweh's name to the men that Yahweh gave to him, man. So only the elect on the little name Yahweh and Yahweh shall, man. This is not for everybody, man. This is only for the elect. The Lord's name is only going to be revealed to the elect, man. Okay? Let's read that. As a matter of fact. Let's go to Matthew. Get out of that. Let's go to Matthew 10. Matthew 10 and 26. Let's read that. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. So the Lord made his name known to his elect, man. Only the elect is going to know the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Everybody else ain't going to accept him, man. Why? Because they don't believe in him. They have not heard it before. Okay, they've been bugged out and brainwashed by the name of Jesus Christos, E.A. Seuss, the rapper's Christmas, man. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me pull something up. Let me pull this up real quick. Pull up this devil right here. Let's see. This devil right here. Serapis Christus. Serapis Christus. Greco, Greco Roman. 135 BCE. The marble image in the London Museum is the image they use of Christ. Jesus today. Christus was also the nickname of Serapis. Okay. This the devil who you worship, man. Okay. This is the devil who you demons worship, man. Let me give you another one. Give you another one. This is who you devils worship, man. This is who you devils worship, man. Okay? This demon right here, man. Cesare Borgia. Okay? Caesar Borgia. This who you worship, man. A Edomite that lived during the 1400s. Okay? This is who you worship, man. A demon. Look at this here right here. Stop worshiping my portrait. My name was Caesar Borgia. Okay, or Cesare boys here, whichever one you want to pick. But it was an Edomite that lived during the 1400s, man. Who they had a devil named Michelangelo to paint his images, to paint Cesare boys here images to be your harvest shot, man. But we know the truth, man. Hey, so gonna give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Makakodash, the honors to the apostle and elders, a great millstone, who rule well, who teach well. And the sense of salutation to all the oxen pushing this truth toward the four men of the earth, bringing up the hopefully let. Shalom to the Aqua for our listening and learning. I'm Isaiah, coming into another lesson in truth, fact, faith, and edification. Hey, Shalom.